Hey guys, this is Fresh and Fab Friday with Homegrown Home Sewn. I am Abby and I am holding Planted with Love by Contempo Fabrics. These are radishes. I don't know about you, but I think radishes are an underestimated vegetable. I love them. My family doesn't love them, but I love them. And they're super sweet. So uh, then we have some daisies to go with it. I'm sorry, some uh, uh, flowers and then some daisies to go with it. So that's nice and springy. Spring has sprung here in Ohio, despite the fact that it is freezing cold last night. I had to cover all my newly planted flowers. Uh, okay, and then here's a little sneak peek at tomorrow's selling session on Facebook Live at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, EDT. Uh, so 1 o'clock uh, p.m. on Facebook Live, you can join us for selling sessions. Okay, we have a lot of new Ruby Star, and it's possible we're selling some of this tomorrow. So, uh, let's see. We have Stellar by uh, Ruby Star. That's from Rashida Hale, I think is how you say her last name. It's really, there's some metallics in there. I like it. And then we have, I think it said Liana, maybe Liana. I'm not sure exactly how she's pronouncing that, but that is by Kimberly from Ruby Star. And then we have this great uh, canvas. This is part of Stellar as well. And uh, this would make fantastic bags. In fact, that's why we ordered it because we do a lot of bag classes when we're not at stay at home mandate. <laughs> so uh, that would be really great for bags. And then we have a couple new books for you here today. We have the big book of little quilts, lots of little projects, which maybe you're getting some big projects done now. So, oh, look at that one. Oh, I love that. I love that backing fa or background fabric. Uh, so maybe once we're done with uh, the stay-at-home mandates and we've done all our big projects, we're going to need some little projects. So that'd be a great book for that. And then we have, as my mom always calls chilly weather, sweater weather. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so Denise, one of our gals, is working on this hat quilt, or going to be working on it. And I hope I can remember which one mom told me she was going to, she said, we're going to work on that guy. Isn't that fun? I really like that. Anyway, so there's a couple of new books for you. And then let's swing around to our primitive room where we have a kit by Kansas Troubles. We have a fat quarter bundle from Kansas Troubles. We have some Marcus fabrics and a book. We have all kinds of stuff in the primitive room today. So let's go to Kansas Troubles first. This is Through the Years Fat Quarter Bundle. Love that. Love that she's incorporating some purple and that great olive color in there. And then we also have a, a kit. This is a 31 by 31 inch. And this is what it makes. A sweet little kit. We only have four available. So if you want it, you obviously you get the pattern. And then all the fabric you need is in there as well. It uses a charm pack and then uh, some additional fabric as well. So only four of those. Grab them while you can. Then I'm going to swing around here. This is Christmas in the country. So if you're trying to get some Christmas projects done now while you have the time instead of later when you want to go gallivanting because we have freedom again, uh, this would be fun to work on. I love this. I think that's really sweet. Uh, but there's a lot of cute, look at the little snowmen and their little noses. I like that. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love me some Bing Crosby. So that's um, a fun a fun book for Christmas projects. And then I think last up today is our Marcus Fabrics. It's these five. It's called Cheddar and Chocolate. Oh, sorry. That's probably a bad angle. There we go. Uh, so we have some nice... I like this color. I feel like sometimes oranges are too bright or too yellowy. I feel like this is a nice color um, and a nice addition to our primitive room. So if you are a primitive gal, that is right up your alley today. So uh, join us for selling sessions tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I think I'm saying that right. And um, until then, uh, happy Good Friday and happy quilting and stay healthy.